Hello and welcome to the Bankers Tuck Tuck video series, keeping tabs on the development in the fintech space. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by David Rutter, Founder and CEO of R3, an enterprise blockchain technology company. David, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So can you tell me a bit about how collaboration, how important collaboration is within the blockchain space and how R3 is really um, driving that forward? Well, I think collaboration is very important and as it pertains to R3, we were kind of founded on, on the whole collabor collaboration model. You know, when we, we first started and recognized uh, how big a problem we're trying to solve with the use of blockchain, uh, and the fact that uh, we're trying to solve problems at an industry level. Mm -hmm. We knew that involving customers and market participants early on was really important. So actually before we even got our funding round, we had this membership concept. We had 42 banks that were sponsoring our work from the original design session. You know, we worked with customers to really understand, you know, what they needed mm -hmm. uh, because we had a view as to what uh, the technology could achieve. So we think collaboration is very important. And also, if you look at what's happening now, there's little industry consortiums being set up everywhere. You've mm. got B3I and insurance in Europe. You have risk blocks insurance in, in the U.S. You've got automotive and many different sectors, uh, trade finance. There's a bunch of stuff going on. So uh, I think collaboration is key in this particular technology, and again, it's because we're trying to solve problems at the industry level, so you need everyone to participate. Okay, and R3 has its Corda platform, so can you tell me sort of, uh, you know, what kind of impact it's making for the banking industry? Sure, I, it's it's early days, but we're, we've been working with the banks now for a few years, uh, interestingly uh, recognizing the importance of privacy and security and scalability. Uh, those features are built into the foundation of Corda, and we did that because many of us have kind of a banking or finance background, but we've been amazed at how it applies to so many other industries, and we're excited about that. But with the banks, as you know, they're in much better shape now than they were pre-financial crisis, but still, there's so many efficiencies that can be achieved. Mm. So we're seeing a lot of work, not just in the, in the capital market side, but also in the retail side of the bank and in private banking. And we really are uh, extremely excited about not only the cost savings and efficiencies uh, Corda can bring to uh, the banking industry as a whole, but by lowering costs and increasing efficiencies, we think that the banks will be able to offer brand new products mm. to a wider range of customers, which were previously uh, unattainable for cost reasons and otherwise. What would you say has been R3's sort of biggest breakthrough um, since its inception? In January 2017, we made a decision to be a platform company. A company, so so to focus on the operating system and not try to build, you know, bespoke solutions for customers. And related to that, but separate, which is another important one, is that we then decided to build the partner network. And our partner network is over 300 partners, and they're some of the biggest names in technology globally, which is helping us scale. And then more recently, I think the quarter network, we have a unique capability where any business network operator in any industry on the Corda network can seamlessly transact with any other business network. And then finally, right now, we're in the production phase. And it's bloody scary because so many applications are going live and our technology is being truly tested for the first time. So that's kind of the, the things that stand out in my mind. I was thinking about the, uh, you know, what it would take, actually, to really drive mass adoption of blockchain, let's say, in trade finance. I think there's been a lot of big industry moves in that area. I think in 2017, the numbers are enormous. There's about 15 trillion in, in global uh, trade. And it's such a uh, complex industry. If you think about how many people are involved in the shipment of goods from you know, Southeast Asia to, to Europe. It actually just lends itself so well to this technology where by using smart contracts, I can know with great certainty that my trade partners see exactly what I see. In trade finance, we have a couple big projects. One is the Marco Polo project. It's very well followed. Then uh, Voltron for the documentary letter of credit piece. Mm -hmm. But there's also Finical Trade Connect and a lot of other things going on in Corda. And that area, because there's so many different types of participants and so many 
uh, different geographies really plays to our strength on the quarter network, which I mentioned earlier. So all of those business network oper operators with their unique business propositions interoperate with each other seamlessly on the mm. quarter network using the quarter platform. So we think that there's going to be a lot more that comes out in, uh, in trade finance. And uh, we really think that that will be something we can point to as one of the greatest successes when we look back three to five years from now. My last question is around uh, a relatively new development, which is the Facebook's cryptocurrency, Libra. You know, what is your opinion on that? From my perspective, uh, it adds more momentum to the space. Uh, we've built this thing called the Corda Settlers so that assets that uh, trade on the Corda network can be settled through other means. And if our customers want to use Libra coins, they can. If mm. they want to uh, uh, use another means of settling it, they can as well. And importantly, we've already linked to the SWIFT GPI network, mm. which, of course, is, a, is the current rail uh, that large enterprise transactions would be settled on. So uh, it's interesting. I'm, I'm curious, because I'm a, a broker-dealer background, how the regulators uh, are going to respond to this, because kind of Facebook was already in the crosshairs mm. a little bit. Mm. But we, we shall see another exciting development in our space. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your insights, David. Thank you for having me.